Today I'm going to demo open source CloudCost API access with OpenCost, but without Kubernetes. If you're not familiar with OpenCost, it's the open source CNCF project for monitoring Kubernetes and cloud spending. We recently added the new CloudCost API, which as far as I know is the only open source implementation of accessing cloud billing directly for AWS, Azure, and GCP, and making them accessible behind a reporting API. We realize there are likely to be users who want API access to the cloud billing data without needing to run on Kubernetes. This is a quick walkthrough of how to get that working. Let's see that first from the CLI directly. The code's all up on GitHub, let's build it. I've added the Kubernetes enabled false environment variable since we won't be needing Kubernetes and I've provided the path to my cloud credentials. You can hit the API on port 9003 with curl this is the default query for the OpenCost CloudCost UI. You can see the billing output with list, net, and amortized net cost, as well as invoice cost with for our provider. And if you prefer to use Docker, you can download the OpenCost container and run Docker Run. Note that I'm passing in my environment variables and my CloudCost config is getting shared via a shared volume. I'd normally run detach, but I'm leaving it in the foreground so we can watch the output. We can try another API query. This one's for the services running on my providers. You can see the costs associated with individual services from my cloud provider. The OpenCost UI for cloud costs is still under active development, but let's run it from Docker 2. I downloaded and updated the default nginx comp file, so it'll work from Docker. And I'm running it with Docker Run. Let's go to localhost 9090 slash cloud to check it out. The cost allocation tab will be empty because there's no Kubernetes data, but the cloud cost should have whatever clouds you've configured access for. Thanks for checking out running open costs without Kubernetes. We're looking forward to adding much more cloud cost functionality soon. Thanks.